What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with a, another uh, David's first look at a title that we just got uh, recently this week, and it is a reprint of a older title, and it is Gotham Central, as you can see here. We have this is the um, original reprint or the original printing, and then the new printing. Before we get started, guys, as always, if you want to be eligible to uh, win a twenty-five dollar gift card, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and here is the whatnot video for the uh, whatnot coming in April. 16th Hey guys, this is the whatnot sale for April 16th as you can see we have some nice big lots over here Sin City is gonna be by itself again. These are the prices for the uh, Mystery boxes you got uh, house of mystery. This is a set you got the nano wars with from valiant So that one's signed and numbered nice daredevil by soul that one looks really cool. Uh, X Force Omnibus Volume One, and then Batman Eternal. So those are the, yeah. the new five books since we uh, we actually gave away all the other ones in in, in uh, mystery boxes. And then here we have the sets. This is going to be the the main event War of the Kings, the Thor sets as well. Daredevil, uh, other Daredevil, the Bendis. Ben Riley is also a big set. Punisher, and ooh more sets. Look at this: Lazarus, Valiant, the Harbinger, and then Valiant Bloodshot. And then these are our single issues over here that we're going to have. Yeah, just single or titles. Single, single titles, yeah. Single issues. And there you go, guys. This is going to be the whatnot sale for April 16th. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to be exciting. The last one was great. We had a lot of fun. Uh, if you were here, we went for five hours. All of the uh, books in the mystery boxes got uh, picked. So that's great. That's awesome. Um, and we have more prizes and more uh, giveaways. So that's, that's always fun. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, as you can see here, we have the older title and then the new reprint straight off. It, it looks the same from the cover, but you can see, of course, the logo. So you have the newer DC logo here. This is the older one. Uh, and let's just show you that, the front here. And the spine. And straight off, you can, you can, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but the newer one is a lot thinner. And here's the back. And I, I'm going to show you that that's actually pretty crazy how thin it is. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, lay it flat as in that way you can see the actual difference. So as you can see, that's that's maybe like like a quarter of an inch difference. Let me let me push them down. Look at that. So yeah. um, is it the thicker paper? Is there more content? I believe it's the same thing. So it's just the paper. Yeah, it's just the paper. Uh, some people like the older ones. I mean, the new one, can, you know, it'll save you space on your shelf, I guess. But let's take a look. Uh, so me and JP were comparing it. Look, as you can see when you open it, the binding on the new ones is better. Look, this is the older ones. So then when you open it, let's say to the middle, you can see that that arc right there. Uh, and then the newer ones in the same like middle part, it's, it's basically flatter uh the page the pages look look they look the same like the, in terms of like glossiness but you know what you can't tell that this is a little bit thicker just just i mean you'd have to feel it to actually like i don't know if you can tell but you feel a little bit thicker okay so let's take a look let's see if there's anything different if we take off the slip case so this is the original and let's see the, the new one what do you say, JP? Same thing? Yeah, same thing. Cool. Uh, it's so dark, you can't even see God in Central. Yeah. Uh, that matte, that matteness of it. Yeah. Uh, the logo on the spine is different too. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Just the DC logo? Yep. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. All right. So let's jump into this one. Now, this is a pretty exciting title. Um, a lot of people were excited for the reprint, and, and actually, all of our, uh, all of our, the ones that we got are going fast, guys, like super fast. Um, yeah, so the first 200 that we got in are already sold. Yes. So the, ne the <laughs> next, uh, we will get, we will be getting more next week. So all the orders that are coming from today, all the way up to the, you know, the next week, we'll be shipping them out next week. There you go. All right, guys. So this is really interesting. Um, as you know, Gotham Central is based off of Gotham City, which is the hometown of our favorite superhero of all time, Batman, and his Bat family, Rob, and all them. So. But this is a little different, and and this is why uh, this this book is is considered really really well written. It's just basically uh, the story of the Gotham City the Police Department and their struggles living in the city where Batman basically takes you know takes crime into his own hands or takes justice into his own hands and how they deal with that. 
so uh, it's written by uh, Ed Brubaker and Greg Ruka. That, that's a power. That's a power. That is, right yeah, they're yeah. both really great writers. Yeah, and we know Ed Brubaker, of course, from uh, the his run with Captain America, the death, uh, trial, and life of Captain America, as well as his which other one did he write? Uh, yeah, he, he did Criminal Rate. Uh, yeah, he did a lot of um, what's it called? Image titles like Criminal, Killer Be Killed. Yeah, Killer Be Killed. Um, yes. Some other ones I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, he has a lot of he has a lot of stuff. Yeah, and he's he's the go-to for like detective, uh, like crime stories. Uh, even the one for for like I said, I, I did a review for his, the death of, of Captain America that he wrote, and it's more of a story of who like it's a who did it, who trying to find out what's going on with it. So I really like that, and I can understand why you would want him to do something for like a, a police procedural, which this book is. So yes, Batman shows up every now and then, but he's he's basically a background character in this book. This is the story of, of the actual police department and what they have to deal with. So think about it. Of course, uh, all you know it, it, in our in our world now, you know, criminals have, you know, they have rights. They have uh, the uh, due process that they get to go through and and the jury and trial. But what if a vigilante took crime into his own hands, and he delivers the police or the the bad guy to the police, right? So now they have to investigate what he did and all that. And you know, sometimes they get off because Batman is punishing them but he he's not giving you know any let's say evidence on why they need to be arrested and they just go back out on the street so um, that's basically what this has to deal with is their uh, relationship with Batman and and sometimes you know the the bad side of him being a vigilante is that the criminals don't get put away they sometimes just get back you know left back out into the streets uh, what's really cool on this is whenever they decided to write this uh, so uh, Greg Ruka decided to do any of the stories that are happening during the day so it's mostly like the trials that you see with the lawyers and the DAs and all that so he writes all of those stories and uh, Ed Brubaker does any of the stories at night which are more of the the actual crime you know like the detectives going out to crime scenes and all that so that's really interesting and the artwork is uh, by Michael Lark so he does the artwork for the whole series and this contains all 40 issues of it uh, there's it's all t contained in this Omni so there's nothing there's no like volume 2 or anything and the uh, Omni actually ended with the Infinite Crisis event that happened right after this and some of the characters in this book actually play really big roles in that uh, so you have like for example Harvey Bullock which we know from the the show the the uh, uh, you I remember the Gotham yeah this is called Gotham what the, the 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 TV show, right? No, no, no. Yeah, well, yeah. But don't you remember in the in the cartoon, oh, the big fat detective? Oh, no, no, no. His name was Harvey Bullock. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I only watched the uh, the live action TV show. I did too. Bullock is it's yeah. funny. He's that he's he's that actor who's uh mm -hmm. he was in other shows, but yeah, he's he, he played his part perfectly. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I've been and meaning then, to finish Gotham. Is is it finished? I forgot. Yes, it, it finishes. Is. He shows him. It shows the kid as Batman at the end. Oh really? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's I cool. Need to finish it for real then. Um, and then, of course, it has like uh, Montoya. Uh, I forgot what her first name is. So, is Barbara and Gotham, you know, like actual Jim Gordon's wife or no? Um, like she, she went crazy. She went, like, oh, she was yeah, a she psychopath and everything. But yeah, but I don't know if she plays anything in this. I know uh, they would, from what, from what I was reading, um, Jim Gordon also is more of a background character. Mm. Like, he's there, but he's, he, he's not like a main character of the story. It, it does mostly have to do with the other detectives that that are in there um, and like it also goes through their lives so for example uh, what is her name Montoya she becomes a question uh, Ashley Leslie uh, mm -hmm. Stephanie anybody with a Montoya like <laughs> <laughs> she's probably she's probably a Hispanic it's, it's a Hispanic name mm -hmm. um, so basically she um, it like it tells a story of whenever because she's you know she's a lesbian and she gets outed on that so it kind of tells their story and what they have to go through for uh, through their their daily lives as well, so that's really interesting. But so this actually sets it up for her to become the question. Is it for Renee Montoya? Renee Montoya, yes, there Renee. Go. There we go. Thank you, JP. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, anyway, yes. So Renee Montoya basically uh, this kind of sets the premise for her to become the question in the uh, Infinite Crisis event that happened after this and in the New Fifty Two as well. And there's another detective in here that dies that he actually becomes the mantle of the Spectre. Uh, so that's really interesting. So there's a lot of character development for them in here that leads to them they're taking bigger roles in the overall DC universe, which is really, really cool. 
And as you can see here, like I said, there's you, they in, they cross they intersect with with like Robin and Batman, but those characters again are just the background characters. It's not focusing on them. It's focusing on the police department of Gotham and and basically their struggles having to live in in, a, in such a crime ridden city. You know, so that's cool. And the, man, the artwork on this looks really good. I like it. It does remind me a lot of the. Uh, the Walking Dead. I wanted to show you that. Here. All right. So look at this. JP's the man. Look at this. So he brought this uh, compendium of The Walking Dead Four. And look at the characters. You see how the style is very similar. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it closer. So as you can see, look, look how the characters are drawn with the shadows and the face and all that. It's really similar to how um, the Walking Dead characters are drawn like that, with the shadows and the colors are just barely added to it. So. Uh, this completely reminded me of it when I first started looking through the Gotham Central. Just how the the shading on the characters' clothes is done. Uh, let me let me yeah, like the glasses where like the glasses and the and the shadow falls on their face. That's how they drew they draw the characters here. Like it's just dark like that on the shadows and a little bit on their eyebrows. So it's very similar art style. Uh, when you see it in color like this, is where I'm like, okay, that's really really similar. And I like that a lot because The Walking Dead was one of my favorite titles. I collected a lot of those. I mean, it's the same person. Is he? That's why, yeah, because you got Stefan, Stefano uh -huh. right there, and you have Stefano right here. Hey, okay. So there you go. Right here. There you go. There you go. Uh, you know, in, in the first couple series or a couple issues of The Walking Dead, the first ones, they look exactly like the Invincible characters. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because <laughs> I guess it was the same artist, and then it changes. It, flipped, it changes to a different one where it's a little bit darker. Uh, but yeah, so then, uh, like I said, this, they just have to deal with uh, the villains and the heroes of Gotham City and how the police department handles them, the corruption they go through, because there are some corrupt cops cops in here as well. So that's that's really, really uh, cool. See, look, this just looks like The Walking Dead. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost exactly the same. That's really cool. I like that. Worlds inter intersecting, you know? Um, but yes, it does. It's all contained in here. Uh, from what I was reading, um, the um, Ruka wanted to make another series called Streets of Gotham, uh, kind of the same way that of this, but more like the citizens of Gotham City. But um, they decided not to do that, which kind of sucks. But there was a short, like one story or one off called Streets of Gotham. Um, and let's see if he has anything extra at the back. Hmm. Okay, I don't see anything really like or besides maybe some character studies like this. Uh, and anything besides that? No, just a little bit of the back, you know, the sketches on that. Yeah, for everybody who are who's on the fence about this book, I haven't heard a single person say anything bad about this book. Yeah. Every pot, everybody that read it re highly recommends this one. Um, it's one of our must reads for um, this year that for the reprints. So definitely on our list to read. I don't know if I'm gonna read it or if David's gonna read it. Who knows? I will probably read it. I don't mind. Listen, <laughs> if it's anything like The Walking Dead, where it's kind of more of a drama yeah. um, inspired, like a slow burn, then yeah. But like I said, yeah, what he, what JP said. Everybody who's talked about it says that it's one of their like top ten books, just because of the stories and 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 no bad no 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 bad review so far. Well, you know what? Let's take a look to see if there's any difference really. If it, like maybe extras from the other Gotham, because um, if the now it's the same thing, so it's the same one. So yeah, guys, look as you can see here. Uh, are you what? Do you, what's your opinion on this? Do you guys like the thinner books? I mean, you get more shelf space, but you lose you know thickness of the paper. Um, you know, tell us your opinion and uh, get your copy of Gotham Central while there's still a, while we still have some, and then I'll see you guys in the next one.